Barry Duplessis here at PCA 2022, speaking with former NFL star Ken Hamlin of The Arrival, and we have arrived at the Miami Cigar Booth and talking with Ken Hamlin. Ken, it's so good to see you, sir. Thank you so much for spending some little time. Hey, man, I appreciate you having me. I like how you started that out with, you know, you have arrived. That's the that's like the one saying that I have with is that you have arrived in that moment and this in that experience. So it's definitely, and this is always good to be here with the guys and, and sort of network and, and sort of fellowship with a lot of guys that are have the love for this type of uh, this type of energy, uh, industry and the smoke. That's wonderful. And so let's dive in here. I mean, the arrival, very unique name, like you said, described like just being in the moment. Yeah. I personally love that part of it. Is I mean, was that the was that the culmination of like a long thought out process of what you wanted to do with this project? Well, initially, and actually, uh, so the initial name was going to be El Martillo, so the Spanish version of the hammer, but. Uh, you know, lawyers get involved, and they said, "No, this is not happening." So, um, so we moved on from that. But the biggest thing was to have. I look at it like with my, with, with me playing football, and just the way that I am. I wanted to make an impact and, and leave an impression, and that's where the arrival came in. Where you talk about leaving an impression, and the cigar leaving an impression and the impact on whoever grabs it and experiences it. So, it stuck with me once. Once we uh, that name came about. It sort of kept sticking with me that that was the fit for it because that's what I would love for this cigar to do. You know, it's, it's funny you mentioned the word impression. And, and I, I, you know, honestly, I smoke a lot of cigars. Yeah. And let's face it, there are cigars out there that just don't hit my palate. It's just the way it is. But there is something very special about the arrival that gives that impression that you were just talking yeah. about that instantly hits the palate and really, really just brings about such an amazing experience. First of all, I mean, why, why La Aurora? How did that relationship come to be? I mean, they're a great, they're yeah. great, great company, great factory. Well, it's, well, you know, I started going down to Pro Cigar probably about five or six years ago, and um, I really sort of met with about four or five different factories, just organically, you know, showing my interest and them sort of seeing that interest and sort of fee giving me feedback. Um, so I started going a few probably three or four bigger companies and then uh, one or two small companies to just see what would fit. Um, and or it just organically with La Oro, with Guillermo, with Manny or Noah, it just sort of fit. I mean, I was there every, the times that I was there, even when Guillermo found out that I was interested in possibly doing a cigar, he came to me and was like, listen, if you're interested, I'm gonna give you my schedule. You let me know when you can come down. And I was probably down there probably two weeks later and it just started like going through the process and I started, I linked up with Manny and, and we just were back and forth and it was almost like a brotherhood. So every day they would always drop me off and say, you know, what are you doing this evening? Now listen, my plans are to not have plans. So what are we doing? So we would always like go to dinner, go do something. So it just organically happened. And I mean, it was a perfect fit because of the experience that the factory has, that they have. And I got to be able to learn from these guys as well while I was going through the process. So it made it great. And then, I mean, when you think about Having to blend and having Manny being able to sort of give you them, those, that feedback, Guillermo giving you feedback, and then just the factory itself with how they roll and just the professionalism that they have, it, it just made it a great fit for me to go with them. Fantastic. I mean, and things are, this is just the beginning for the arrival, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, it, I started by, this by saying this is not an overnight thing. This is not something that I want to just see like just day one. I want to see just an overall success and just it blows out the roof. I want this to slowly but surely grow and, and then sort of get a, a foundation, a base so that it can continue to grow. And um, so I'm, I'm not looking for anything to be just like, oh, well, you know, you, you, you shot, out the, shot out the gun or whatever and you just hit it, hit it running. I understand that it's a process. I understand even the process that we took to create the cigar. I understand it takes time, and uh, I don't mind it taking time to get to where I want it to be. Because I look at this as is like these all these other brands. They started somewhere. Whether they're like La Ora, 1903, uh, you know, it's, it's been years, but they started somewhere. And I look at me being able to start this is right start. here. This is the start. No, your arrival. Exactly. And you have arrived. And that's what my whole point is to every time is to try to bring something to the table that gives you that type of mindset and that type of that type of feeling. Just like uh, just like your previous career in the NFL, it wasn't a short-term goal, it was a long-term goal. The arrival being a long-term goal for you, Ken, thank you so much for spending a couple of minutes with us. It was an absolute pleasure. Thank no, you. No, 